everyone, welcome back to another video. Today you're joining me in London. So as you can see, I put up a little, hopefully this works actually, because it's quite windy, but as you can see, I'm at Canary Wharf. Um, I'm here for a little basic day break in London. I like to get away in London for a little day break. Mobile Valley's on this morning, literally about two minutes away from where I am. So I thought I'd bring you around with the camera, do a little vlog style thing, show you the Modball event, and basically show you what I'm getting up to in London. So work's been absolutely manic at the minute. There's been a lot going on, and I basically just needed some time away, even just for the day, just to have a bit of a recharge, away from detailing basically, and um, yeah, just enjoy myself a little bit. If you ever see me in London, you know for a fact I'm probably burnt out. I need a bit of a break. Um, but yeah, I'm at Canary Wharf. I'm just about to head to Mobball. I'll show you exactly what's all there. For anyone that don't know what Mobball is, it's basically a car rally where, um, I don't know, I think it's about 50 people turn up in their supercars, sports cars, and all that sort of stuff. And they go from like London to Barcelona, Ibiza, all these different places um, on various different trips. So I normally go every year if I can. Um, I've probably gone for the last five years or so since Yanni first went on his, from Yanni first went on his one. Um, and basically just come over since. Basically just gives me an excuse to come up to London for the day, um, chill out away from work, but still be involved around cars and um, also spend the day in London. It's really windy today. I haven't got a jacket, it's wet, and I've already had a bad start to the day. So I actually missed my train this morning. So I'm actually here a lot later than what I thought. But what I'll do, I'll take you along to the Mob Ball event with me, um, show you exactly what's there and hopefully shoot some nice cars, see who's there as well, and basically just bring you around London and um, yeah, just see what I get up to for the day. I'm basically on my own, um, so I thought I'd just bring the camera with me and show you what, exactly what I get up to. So just head to Mob Ball, see what cars are there, and I'll get some good shots of them all leaving from the start line. start line so here we have all of the cars that are going out on the rally today there's some awesome bits of kit here to be fair from Lambos there's a Range Rover at the front which is one of their I think um, what do they call it escort cars um, we've got McLarens we've got a Ferrari for the Ferrari fans if you're watching this a couple of Ferraris here Eurus's Mercedes GLA GLE C63 uh, GLE 63s um, M4s all that sort of stuff have a look the amount of cars is crazy I'll flip the camera around just so you can see what's what so M4, the Porsche back there, Ferrari, is that 458? Um, Jag F-Type, Lamborghini Huracan Spider. Well, that's a, obviously Performante. And then you've got another BM, what's that M5 over there? Not quite too sure, but yeah, look at all that. It's a nice selection of cars. I don't know how many cars there are. There's gotta be about, probably like, 40 odd cars or something like that. So I'll try and show you as much as possible. Um, but yeah, we'll get the start line of when they're all leaving as well. But you're pretty much allowed just to walk in between all the cars. So I'll show you them in a bit more detail. Um, there's literally kids and stuff touching the cars. So yeah, probably gonna be some fuming owners if they end up with scratches all over their cars. But I suppose if they've had stickers all over it, they're probably not that bothered. We'll show you some of the other cars that are here. Is that an actual number plate or is that just a show plate? because that is chaos if that's an actual number plate. That's the Martins, Maseratis, there's a nice Eurus there. Is that a GLE 63? Not quite too sure to be fair. I know my cars, but I don't know them all that well. Corvette, I like these little Corvettes to be fair, they're pretty sick. Porsche GT3, McLaren. I think we'll have a little walk in between the cars. New M4. A 
Audi R8. Pick these up for good money now. RS6, ABT edition. Just trying not to scratch any of the cars as so walking through. But there's a lot of cars here, to be fair. Now that's a beauty. Swedish mob baller, that is a beauty. Jeez. It's pretty noisy, they checked out all the cars, they're just about to leave in five minutes, so we'll head down to the start line, try and find a good spot and get a shot of them all leaving, because I reckon it's going to be pretty chaos. I can tell it's going to be pretty chaos. I don't even know if you're going to hear what I'm saying, but hopefully you can. I've got the mic on, so hopefully you pick it up. But yeah, the cars here are absolutely ridiculous. The Lambos and stuff, whoa. Lambo over Ferrari all day, for sure. So I'm just going to head down to the bottom of the, sorry mate, just going to head down to the bottom of the start line and hopefully get some really good shots of all these guys as they're leaving, because um, yeah, it's going to be pretty epic, I reckon. So I'm currently down on the bottom corner, because hopefully my tactics is they're gonna come down this way, through here, and then straight up this road, back over there. So hopefully, all being well, we've got a good spot. Because right at the beginning, you can see them leave, but hopefully at this bit, they'll just fly off. So I think they're leaving another two minutes. So we'll hang about here, but I might have to change position. And here they go. Give it a rev. <laughs> so as you can see, the cars are starting to leave now. So you can see them all coming through over there. I think about 10 have left so far. So we've got all the rest to go. Yeah, it's pretty chaos to be fair, I'm loving it. Where are these bikes going? say that's it over all the cars have left so we'll head back out um, see what's left at the top so I think there's a couple of cars still at the top um, and yeah I think the Hawara is leaving so we'll get that going onto the trailer hopefully uh, but everyone seems to be running up to the top so we'll head up that way as well and see what's going on a couple of the mob ball girls in front say no more but yeah not a bad view at the minute and I'll leave it as that
Right, so that's that. Now all the cars have left from the start line. As you can see there, the Baguani Hawaii is being put back onto the trailer, which is pretty cool. That was pretty cool to see. It's not every day you get to see all of them supercars. It's not every day you get to see um, a Baguani Hawaii being put onto its trailer. I need to remember to stop looking into the focus. Um, I can't remember what it's called, actually. There's, I don't know, whatever it is, the screen, and actually look into the camera lens because I keep looking over to the screen. But yeah, that's pretty good morning out. Um, despite my morning being stressed out because I was an hour and a half late because I caught the train later, um, no, that was pretty cool. So all the cars are left. Um, it's nice to see all the cars, nice to get a Baguani. Also spoke to the chap who runs the YouTube channel for John Joseph, who runs the Mod War event. And he basically gave me some tips, which was quite cool for mine, um, about the cameras and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is head out, get some lunch, and then just go and explore London for a bit and see what other cars we can find. Obviously, part of it today was coming to the mobile event to see what was going on here. Try to go there every year. It just gives me an excuse to basically come to London and um, have a bit of a day chill out. Um, but now I've got to find something to do. So hopefully we'll find some nice food somewhere, um, maybe a nice burger or something like that, and then we'll go and explore London for the rest of the day. Maybe we could do a little bit of car spotting and just chill out away from work. I'm still doing a little bit of work stuff. I've got the apprentice at home sorting some um, video editing work out. So there's still a few bits of work stuff going on, but I'm away from detailing for the day, so I can't complain. So let's head out into London, get some food, and check out the rest of the cars that could be around and about. Right, mobile's done. Lunch in Jubilee Place in London. I was going to go on to an Instagram page that I follow to check out some other food places, but because I'm in Canary Wharf, it's not really. I don't know, there's an Instagram account called Eating with Todd, and he always goes to some really nice places in London, so I was going to try and check out some of them places. But because I'm in Canary Wharf, all these places are like Brixton based Camden and stuff like that, so I need to think about that. But I'm at Chipotle, so. Robin, it's so expensive here, and nowhere in London except for cash either. It's not like I've, I haven't got any cash for me, obviously, Mr. Taxman, but if I did have cash for me, you can't pay cash anywhere in London. So, £16.50. £16.50 for a burrito and some tortilla chips and a Coke. Oh shit, I'm spending Coke with this. But yeah, so let's check out this. It's basically similar to tortilla that we've got in Exeter, but burrito wrap, chicken, rice, beans, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to crack on eat this, um, I'm absolutely starving now. I've only had to go for breakfast this morning, that's all I've eaten, so I'm going to eat this now, and then basically sort out a bit of plan. I haven't really got a plan for today, um, I'm just going to wing it, really, like I normally do when I'm in London, just walk around, wing it, see what's about. I've got until about seven, so yeah, we'll just wing it today. The best part about London, though, you can literally film anywhere, no one bats an eyelid. Whereas if I was to do this in Exeter, people would be like asking why, why are you filming? But in London, you can get away with filming. So yeah, let's have a first bite, see what it's like. And then um, yeah, we'll mooch out into main city London. Maybe do a little bit of shopping. Um, maybe do a little bit of shopping. Uh, hopefully that's going to pick that up. So I'll head out into main London, do a bit of shopping. Um, and then yeah, just see what I get up to. So far, so good. Food's done. Now on a Uber boat. Really randomly, a bit last minute. I wanted to go down to Westminster, so I was going to get the tube, but I've ended up on an Uber boat. But check out this for a view. Pretty sick experience, not gonna lie. It is pretty cool. See the shard in that in a minute. But yeah, we'll stop up at London Bridge. So just having a mooch around London now. So we went on that little boat, Uber boat, which is actually pretty sick. I've never done that before. I think I might have done it once, actually, maybe years ago. Um, but I haven't done that, yeah, since probably maybe like five years or something like that. Last time I've probably done that. I can't remember, but when I was on it, I was sort of getting like flashbacks. Um, probably PTSD. No, nah, not PTSD. But um, I don't want to joke about that. 
But um, what am I doing now? So heading into mainland, I need to go and get a USB charger for my phone because I've got a battery back that feel it's kind of le lent to me. But it's the USB-C and not the actual USB cable. Just going past Downing Street. People protesting. There's a protest about everything in London, it seems. I've seen a protest about cigarette packets back there. Um, Tory government, Labour, all that sort of stuff. So there's literally a protest for everything. But um, yeah, I need to go and get a USB cable. And then I'm just going to go and do maybe a little bit of shopping. I don't really spend money to be fair. I'd rather spend money on the experience rather than go out and buy a load of materialistic things. But maybe in the future, it'll probably be a bit different. But um, yeah, I'd rather actually do things like that boat trip. Probably cost me like a tenner. It was actually pretty sick. Could have got the tube, um, but decided to do that instead. But yeah, I don't know. Head over to Regent Street, um, Carnaby Street as well. I want to head over to Mallet, big up Mallet, and um, have a look to get some new sliders and stuff. But other than that, yeah, it'd be a pretty chilled afternoon. Go and see what cars are about in London this weekend as well, and um, maybe check out some of the sites. I don't know how well this is going to pick up because there's so much noise going on. I'm literally in Park Lane in London and um, yeah, it's absolute chaos. I'm over by the Dorchester because normally you get to see some really nice cars here. What I thought about doing for the last part of the video is just going on a bit of a supercar hunt. I've got, at the minute, it's just gone, see what the time is. It's gone. I was just about to turn half past three. So I thought what I'd do for the, an hour or so which is basically go around and see how many supercars or sports cars I can find in an hour. So do it in 60 minutes. So um, I thought I'd do it here because there's normally some nice cars here, but burnout's out it's a Wednesday, it's half three. Um, I doubt there'll be too many cars around, but I thought we'll give it a go. I want to try and find a decent amount. What we'll do, I'll just go around and show you the... And what I'll do, I'll bring the camera around to spot some nice cars in some nice locations like Sloan Street, Knightsbridge and stuff like that. Um, and just see how many cars we can find and see what the total value is at the end. Obviously, I'm not going to know the total values until after editing, um, but I'll put out the values with the cars that we find. Like I say, I'm not too sure what we're going to see, because um, I haven't been down this part yet, and obviously it is Wednesday afternoon, but hopefully we get to see some nice cars. So yeah, just gone half free, so let's head out. I'm walking as well, so it doesn't make it any easier, because a lot of the time I'm going to be walking around. So I've got an hour, so let's see how much, so let's see how much cars I can find in under an hour. So at the Dorchester, it's all blocked off. Normally you get a really nice collection of cars like just sat outside Dorchester. But we've got a nice Rolls Royce there. And if you look a bit further up, I can't be asked to walk it. But we have a G63 as well. So that's the start. Rolls Royce, G63. Let's see what else we can find. Right, so that's the time. Just gone half past three. So let's go find some cars. So already, not a supercar, not a sports car. Audi RS4 is that? But obviously, big money. I don't think it's RS6. It doesn't look big enough to be RS6. First spot of the day. So, don't really get to see many of these on the road, but we've got Bentley and a Rolls Royce anyway. And, um, yeah, new Range Rover. Nice spec not looking too successful so far um, normally there's a lot more cars about but it is Wednesday so yeah I don't know it's crap weather as well so I don't think many people are going to be getting their cars out but I'm just going to head down towards like Knightsbridge way around Harrods maybe walk down Sloan Street and if there's nothing down there then this, this thing's going to be a big fail but maybe the next time I come up to London which will be next month we'll do another one Hopefully bring someone along with us and then we'll do a challenge together to see who can find um, the most valuable supercars in London. Big money they are. Big money. Not really class it as a supercar. But another brand new Range Rover in black. Not the best spec. But still a brand new Rangey. It's got all of the accents with like the grey. I prefer it all blacked out to be fair. But still, oh, that's an 812 super fast and a 918 and a GT3. Now, this is a big spot. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Now, this is the cars that I've been looking for 812 super fast, 918, or oh, GT2 RS. 
Oh, look at that interior. Jeez. So yeah, battery was cutting out, but some big spots there, along with a Rolls Royce. I don't know what Rolls Royce that is, but that is mad spec. Someone's kicking off. But yeah, look at that interior as well. Needs tinsel, I think, but yeah, mad. But look at the GT2 RS, Porsche 918 and an 812, along with a brand new Rangey. So, can't stand around there for too long because I've only literally got another 40, um, yeah, 45 minutes. So, that's these. Um, I'll do that adding up on the turtles at the end. Also seen a Audi R8 V10 Plus down there. So we'll get some snaps of that as well. Audi R8 V10 Plus. So that's another one. Ticked off. It's mad spec on this to be fair. I've got like gold and silver diamond cut wheels black and red exterior with a lovely white and black interior with all carbon. I rate that to be fair. Not sure what I think of the wheels. They need to be all gold, I think. Yeah, nice little spot as well. Also, another G-Wagon. I feel like G-Wagons, Range Rovers, Bentleys and Rolls Royces we can't really include. But, just out of nowhere, spotted a Lamborghini Urus. Let's go and check that out as well. So, Lamborghini Urus as well. I know these are big money. I recognise that plate from somewhere. I don't know where it's like from Instagram or something. But it's got orange calipers, no tints, all black in its interior. These are sick. These are so sick, to be fair. But yeah, I feel like the total value of all these cars is going to be big. The only in London would you just go down random streets and just find like 812 Superfast, 918, um, Porsche GT2. Audi R8 V10 Plus, Lamborghini Urus. I see a um, V8 Defender, which are big money as well. When we went to do the Range Rover video, when we went to see the new one, um, matey there was saying that these um, these Defenders, the V8s, and it's a 110, these are big money. So let's go check this one out as well. It's not to everyone's taste, but um, yeah, let's see. We've also got an American truck there as well, which is pretty cool, which I'll show you. It's probably like Dog the Bounty Hunter vibe. But that's the, um, this is the Defender, V8 Defender, 110. I personally wouldn't have one myself. I don't particularly like these big ones. But yeah, also Range Rover next to Like I said, I don't think we can really count Range Rovers. But that's the Defender as well. Another roller. Anyone know in London why loads of cars have these number plates? I see them everywhere. I never know what they mean. So yeah, anyone can let me know. That'd be spot on, because every time I come, I always see loads of cars with these style number plates. But what we'll do now, we'll head into like Sloan Street area um, and just see what's around there. Quite surprised at what we found so far, because I was going around London earlier and it didn't really seem like there was much going on. But um, there seems to be quite a lot going on now. I think because we're coming into the end of the day, there's probably more people about, but it's starting to rain, so I've got to try not to get this camera wet. Another 812 super fast. I'm pretty sure it's the 812 super fast. I'm not a massive Ferrari fan. Lewis, if you're watching it, you're gonna kill me. But I'm pretty sure it is. So that's two in the space of like five minutes. But we was off to a slow start, then it got good. Now it's gone slow as, again for some reason. But weirdly enough, just had a police escort run through. I don't know if it's a queen or something. I'll put up a little video of what I took. Um, so I don't, don't know what all that was about, but we'll head over to Sloan Street now because it's looking a bit quiet here. So I'm hoping we haven't just got lucky with that bit because we've still got another, let's have a look. It's 35 minutes. So I feel like we've only just begun as well. I'm not a massive McLaren fan. Go on, sorry. Right. But I'll rate that to be fair. Silver wheels are coming back. I was speaking to someone the other day and we were saying that silver wheels are coming back. I think that personally looks mad. What do we think? Also outside, Bentley Continental. So two more ticked off. First McLaren of the day. See, another car with that number plate. What am I missing? Am I, yeah, I just don't know what it's about. Let me know. Right, it's not good. I've only got 25 minutes left, 24 minutes left and I'm starting to lose hope now. 
start to rain as well, so I've got to be careful with the camera. But yeah, search on. Got to keep carrying on. We're around by Harrods. So I was hoping there's going to be a bit more than what there is, but it's just all Mercedes. Just Mercedes seems to have cars everywhere here. Yeah? Bravo G63. That is mental. That will cost a fortune to run around in. So that's got to be like 150 grand, probably if not more. Ferrari. I'm not a clue what that is. I think that's California. So Tino, you'll be watching this. These are the ones that you like. Ferrari California. I'm pretty sure it's a California. Brabus G63. Nice. Go on, lad. Give it some. That is naughty, to be fair. It's like a sick polo. Go on, girl. Nice Aston Martin Vantage. Let me try and clear this lens. Yeah, I'm getting soaked. Dog poo. Sick number plate. See there, these are a bit of money. Let's try and clear this lens. Right, weather's not looking good. Weather is not looking good. We got 17 minutes to see what else we find. I'm just near Harrods over at Hans Place. I see a Lamborghini Gallardo, 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 however you say it. So that was like a childhood dream car. Um, and it's my first supercar um, that I've ever worked on back six years ago. Um, same color as well. So once the rain stops, get some snapshots of that because that'd be another car to add to this collection um, in the last 15 minutes we got. We'll try and see what else we can find. I'll run around a few little back streets and see what other cars I can find whilst doing this hour supercar spot on in London. It's pretty fun though. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's nice to take a bit of a break away from detailing, but the weather's starting off now, so let's check out this Lamborghini that's parked up the road. And this is the Lambo, the Gardo. So this brings back some memories of my first one that I'd done all them years ago. Nice that. I don't know how much these are now, to be fair. But yeah, childhood supercar that was. About when playing Need for Speed. Let's crack on and see what else we can find. Continental part next to it getting the same of a lot of cars but we'll try and see if there's anything different a lot of these Rolls Royces for some reason the name of it's completely gone out of my head so I'll have to search it up because I can't remember what it's called these Rolls Royces but I did know for some reason it's just escaped my head today it's not a Rolls Royce Wraith it's not a Rolls Royce Dawn it's not a Rolls Royce Gate Ghost um, what is it Rolls Royce Cullinan that's the one so Rolls Royce Cullinan seen a lot of these around. Old school range. Another range. Bentley Bentayga. Porsche Panamera. Another Porsche coming down. Some more rolls. Another rolls. More taxis. Definitely more G-Wagons than there are taxis. Nice GTS there. I do really like them GTSs if the taxi moves out of the way. Is it GTS or just GT? There's a Porsche. But I'd definitely have one of these. 100%. I would like one of these to be fair because they sound ridiculous. Yeah, GTS. These are naughty. So, yeah, doing so good so far. Another, what have we got? 14 minutes left. So, let's crack on. Audi RS6, I think it is. Cash. Right. I think we've got the last, literally seven minutes so i think it's a gtc4 luso and some little alpine car which is pretty cool commercial defender there yeah i'm pretty sure it's a gtc4 luso i think these are what these are called i'm not a massive fan to be fair i think we're gonna head down that way and see if there's anything on this roundabout down there not a bad spot just random cars just parked on the side of the road it's five minutes now i feel like my first supercar spot in the series well, not really series, but section. It's not gone too bad. Seem to have found some nice cars. And um, it's been educating as well, because it jigs my memory of what cars are what, sometimes I forget. But this is actually like where all the YouTubers come and film all their cars when they get new cars and stuff. So pretty much this spot here is where they all come, like TG and stuff like that. But imagine that bumping into one of them today. That'd be pretty sick. But by the looks of it, don't really seem to be much here other than taxis and Mercedes 
I'll keep walking a couple more minutes. So, and just like that, with two minutes to go, literally just turned two minutes, we got a Ferrari 488 Pista. So, as, as if this couldn't be finished off in a better way, we have got a 488 Pista. Now, good friend of mine chasing cars. Jeez, that carbon wheels. That's chaos. It's a good friend of mine. And look at that interior. Green with tan interior. That is naughty spec. That's literally naughty spec. But a friend of mine chasing cars. Check out my Instagram. It's got one of these in black. Um, we did go out on it last week, actually. Um, I'll try and include a little bit about that, but I didn't really film too much. But what a perfect car to finish the hour supercar spot on episode on. Well chuffed with that. What are we saying though? Carbon wheels. That's got to be dipped, surely. I don't know at this point. But chaos. Rate that. Happy boy. So yeah, last car found. Ferrari 480 Pista in mad spec. Green exterior, gold stripes with the brown tan interior with carbon absolutely everywhere. So someone spent some money on that for sure, but they sound incredible. Like I said, I went out with a friend who's got one uh, last week, just locally, and yeah, they sound absolutely amazing. But that's that section of this video done. Um, what I'll do, we'll do some tallies up, do some totals. We'll put the total amount down here um, of the value of the cars that I found in under an hour um, around London. So it'd be interesting to see how how much all of that equivalent up to. I reckon, what cars did we find? Well, 918's got to be, what, a million? potentially. So maybe two million pounds worth of cars in the space of an hour, which is crazy. And you think we're not even in summer yet, really. So it'll be interesting to see if we can come back next month in June for the next mob ball and tally up to see how many cars we can find in an hour. But what would be quite cool to do with it is have someone else with me. They go off with a camera. Obviously, I go off with a camera, go off in different directions and basically just see what we can find, really. But I need to go get some food, get some drink. Um, I've got three more hours in London now. I'll be shooting off about 20 past seven and getting the last train home. And so what I'm going to do now is might head up to Camden Way, get some food, go up to Primrose Hill and have a bit, a bit of a chill out for the rest of the afternoon. So that is my journey in London. Now done. Just got some food. Get spicy to be fair. Now let's just get the... My train's at 20 past seven. Get in about 11. So yeah, there's not nothing else for me to record. Hope you all enjoyed watching me spend the day with me in London basically. Mob ball was sick. Um, spending the day just doing a few little random bits and bobs is also pretty fun. Haven't really spent that much money today to be fair. There's so much stuff you can do in London without really having to spend as much money. I just love coming here because it motivates me. I get to see all the cars. Um, it's just a nice place to be, I think. Some people hate coming to London, but I love it. Hope you've all enjoyed this video of following me around London basically. It's probably been pretty different compared to what you're normally used to. Um, but this is the sort of stuff that I want to start doing. I want to start doing more general videos rather than all detail and related so um yeah any suggestions on how we can improve the videos obviously please do let us know um yeah and i'll see you guys and guys in the next one ciao